Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Yumesh Gupta and I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to start a new series called Build Your Own Redux. In this series we are going to take a look at one of the most popular state management libraries called Redux. We are going to look at what all major APIs it offers, how they work under the hood and how we can recreate those functionalities in somewhat similar api similar library to redux also we are going to walk through uh, the basic fundamentals and uh, basic workings of redux but it would be nice if you have some prior experience or understanding of what is redux and what are different entities like actions reducers and how they work uh, in redux context it is not going to be too complex because uh, in Redux, there is no sort of magic. It is more of a way of doing certain things, more of a mental model than something way too complex or anything. There are a lot of good folks who are creating, uh, you know, content uh, around fundamentals and core uh, programming and front end. Our aim with this channel, DevTools Tech, is to create a mixed bag of uh, good beginner friendly and advanced topics and uh, topics which you know help you or might help you uh, transition from a junior dev to a senior dev and uh, help you in thinking in terms of designs and architectural decisions and how things work under the hood so if you like a content then please do like and subscribe uh, do share your views with us and uh, if possible, then do share our content with other folks so that there is awareness and we can help each other in the community. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's answer the million dollar question. What is Redux? As per the official documentation, it is a predictable state container for JS apps. Now, what does that mean? What does predictable state container means? In the most layman terms from a bird's eye view, it is basically a JavaScript object that act as a single source of truth. It is a sort of a global object which houses all the data that is present in your application. Your application might be an e-commerce or a restaurant's app or a movie's app or like where I work as of now, uh, fintech app now in our app there can be different entities like users transactions accounts cards bank accounts and whatnot now this all data is stored in a single global object you can say which is centralized and it is predictable that at any given point of time we know what is going to be the state of our application and there is a certain way of updating that data. You cannot just outrightly mutate that data. There is a way of doing things that which we, you know, uh, talked about actions and reducers, the Redux mental model. We will get into those things in detail. Now in Redux, that global object dictates or describes how your UI is going to look like. Let's say if I have uh, in my global object, a list of transactions. Now the, that transaction, that array of objects can have let's say length four so i have four transactions and that dictates that what is the ui i have maybe a list of four items and now when any event happens on uh, the ui it dispatches an action which basically describes what change took place that goes to a function which we call reducers and that eventually updates our state and since our state update uh, update happens, our UI is re-rendered. So there is a cycle and it flows in one direction. The data always grows from store to UI, UI to action, action to reducer and back to store. So that is why it is called unidirectional data flow. It works out of the box in browser, server or natively. And it is framework agnostic. You, there are official bindings with React and others, but it can work with any UI layer. Now, Let's talk about Redux flow. What does that mean exactly? So 
like i mentioned earlier that we have a global store where a global object which where each key corresponds to different entities in our application be it users bank accounts or transactions and so on now that store defines what is our ui maybe uh, uh, in our ui there can, there uh, is a list of four items now those four items come from our store and what are those four items also come from the store that is why it defines what is our ui going to be what is the state of the ui maybe we have to hide certain data show certain data maybe we have to show filtered data that is all managed by the store now whenever any event happens on the uh, user interface let's say we clicked on a bus cta or something then we dis we dispatch an action which basically describe what change has happened maybe we added a new entry or we removed something or modified something it goes to reducer which is basically a function that takes action as an input and computes the new state at that point of time so it updates the store the store again define the user interface action reducer this cycle repeats itself so that is why it is going with it is known as the unidirectional data flow now let's understand this in more detail by a example let's say uh, our current global object our store has two uh, videos two items where one is flat array interview question and the second one is dom api interview question now our store defines what is our ui going to look like we have two items in our ui two uh, list items and one cta when user clicks on cta this uh, there is this form where we can enter the title and the link we enter build your own redux and this link and now we click on the cta add now a user event took place so based on that we dispatch a new action which basically has a type add video and a payload which describes that uh, what is our content what content needs to be added to our global store now it goes to a reducer function basically reducer function is nothing but a sim good old function here it is videos it can each reducer function can correspond to different entities where we can have a reducer function for users or maybe uh, transactions or anything and that will take care of that particular data in our uh, global store so here we have videos where if the case is basically we have a switch switch case where where we have a switch case where it is based on action dot type where the type is provided by this here so our case is add video based on based on which case is activated we do some computation compute the new state and moves on so in this what we do is we take this payload and add to our list of videos and when the whole uh, computation of reducer function completes it eventually updates the our global store basically let's say videos we dispatch an action add video now it updates the video part of our global store let's say we uh, do update profile that updates the user part of our global store we accumulate everything and then our global store is updated now since our store is updated it describes what is the new ui going to look like we now we have three items and again if we click on the cta then this entire cycle is you know repeated that we have a modal we enter the details we dispatch an action action goes to reducers we update the list and ui is updated so this is the cycle which goes on this is the basically a redux mental model that you have a store you have the ui ui is only updated by actions and actions uh, describes the change to reducers and reducers update the store now let's talk about what all major apis we are going to look at in this series so basically we are going to look at four major apis create store which uh, will help us in creating the store and provide us with apis like dispatch and so on combine reducers we'll take uh, different reducers and uh, output a single reducer then comes the apply middleware basically apply middleware is a very important uh, concept where we 
talk about how the middleware system of Redux works and how the these middlewares give us some sort of special powers to you know add a lot more functionality to Redux. Then we have bind action creators, but we'll discuss this when we reach this stage. Before we end this video, I would like to show you one of the recent additions which I did to code.devtools.tech. It is a platform which allows users to answer real world programming uh, questions. Earlier users were able to answer only single choice questions or subjective questions. Quite recently, I added a new type of question called programming questions where user can write in, you know, uh, executable code. Uh, here the question would be described and here they can write the code and see the output. Uh, so like, let's say how to create a flat version of a deeply nested uh, array. This is a real world programming interview, which a lot of folks ask where users can write their uh, code and if they run then they'll see the output here so this was the uh, nested uh, array and this is the output so while working on this feature i had to deep dive into different uh, solutions in the market like code sandbox js fiddle code pen and how they handle things like uh, uh, dependency resolution transpiling bundling and safely execution and so on so while working on this, this were, it, it was a, a quite a good learning experience, understanding things, how they work under the hood and reading the source code. So I came to this realization that it could be a good way to, you know, learn with you all and share my learnings. That's why I started uh, uh, with this series and picked up Redux as the first, uh, you can say, guinea pig and we will cover how i implemented this bundling and hold the all of this ied ish environment in the browser do check this out this uh, implementation and if you see uh, any you know gaps or if you can see uh, uh, how can we improve or your journal feedback if you don't want to check out any question base then you can just go to code dev tools or tech slash sandbox where you'll have this uh id you just run it and you'll see the output here you can write any code or react app here and you like when you run then the app will be rendered here so do check it out so this brings end to our video so this was the introduction part of our series in the next video we are going to take a look at uh, the first api which is create store so do watch this space have a nice day bye bye